Okay guys, here's a house, a mobile home for sale for $29,000. But the problem with this is there's a lot lease. $491 per month lot lease and it's in a 55 and older mobile home community. This is the neighbor right here and the guy was doing his lawn so I didn't want to be too rude. But this is a 55 and older community in Vero Beach. It's a lower end community as far as economics, but it feels safe and overall it has some nice landscaping. So $29,000 for a mobile home lot, but you have the lot lease, you don't own the land for $491 per month. But the other but is though, you don't have to pay property taxes because that $491 includes property tax and I maybe some utilities as far as sewer or water you usually always have to pay your electric in addition so we we'll drive around this community here you see it's an older uh, community older mobile homes older uh residents uh, again on the lower economic scale but i don't feel threatened at all i don't feel like unsafe uh, it is the middle of the day, but this seems like overall not an issue. It looks like a lot of older community, just older residents. So again, the economics though, 29,000, this is one of the cheapest homes or mobile homes I've ever shown. Uh, but you're not buying much as far as building up equity because there's a land lease, so you don't own the land. Really, you're just buying the right to live in this community for that established rent price and you buy the actual physical mobile home, um, uh, which from what I can see on the outside and pictures online is just a decent, it's older. It's not in total room, but it's not, uh, it's not anything too nice. So the positives, the positive are $29,000 for basically a house. The negative, there's no home equity because it's a land lease. But, you know, if you added 491 for your land lease, plus, let's just say you paid electric and maybe water, you know, your rent would probably be around $700 a month, more or less, depending on how much utilities you, you, you use. But, the other issue is, for 29000 for most people who would buy a home like this, a mobile home like this, they're on the lower economic scale. So you can't get a 30 year mortgage on 29,000. Uh, one is you can't get a mortgage on anything usually under 50,000. Two is on mobile homes, it's harder to get any mortgages. Um, so usually that's gonna be a cash only deal or owner financing, or you get a personal loan. All of these factors would mean a higher interest rate and again, poor economics as far as the deal. So, you know, you really have to think about when you talk about living in a mobile home community, you have to talk about the economics and you have to talk about it's cheap to buy the mobile home itself, but in mobile homes in mobile home communities, do you own the land? In most of them, you don't. This one, you don't. There's a land lot lease, which can go up just like any, it's like rent. So it's 491 now could you know go up three or ten percent per year depending on the economics right so it's a 55 and older community so you have a less pool of buyers whenever you're ready to sell uh, it should be a quieter, quieter community but it is a, a dingier old community in some aspects of speaking you'll see uh, some homes are nice i shouldn't say that i mean but this one here this light blue one this is a little old landscaping's nice area is nice it's right by route one five minutes away from the atlantic ocean probably about 15 minutes away from I-95. And um, what I could tell you is, uh, no, I wouldn't do it. Uh, I mean, if you're 55 and older and you wanted to be in this area and that's all you could afford, uh, you know, it'd be your decision. Uh, but the economics just don't make sense because for, 20, for let's just say 30,000 is pretty much what it is. And you see too, here's a class A RV that's parked in, that, in their lot. So maybe... You know, if you wanted to tear down the mobile home, you could park an RV, but 
you would still need to pay the land lot lease, which is four ninety one a month. Okay, and whatever utilities is not included. No property tax though. So for all things considered, uh, you know, again, you know, where you for someone buying this type of uh, in this type of community, it's not easy for them to come up with thirty thousand dollars. For many people, that's a lot of money. So one is they got to come up with that, or they got to get a higher interest rate because they can't afford. They don't have that cash. Then two is they're still paying lot lease, which will go up periodically. Three is whenever they are ready to sell, they haven't really built up equity because places like this, I mean, you don't really get much equity. Your, your only value is whatever home you're buying because it's the, the whatever people own this, they own the land. So when, when you're looking at mobile home communities, it's usually for lower income people. The economics usually don't make sense. There's some exceptions where you own the land. There's some exceptions where they're, when they're in such a nice area that it makes sense. This is an overall nice location. Again, close to the shops, 10 minutes. Close to the beach, five minutes. You can't beat that. A lot to offer, but you know you have to think about 30,000 is a lot of money. And if you're basically just going to say, I'm spending 30,000 so I can rent uh, $500 a month in this location, plus utilities, you'll, you know, it's, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's worth it in many regards, okay? But it's another option, okay? And, but I want to leave you with this. A lot of buts in this video. I want to leave you with this thought. This is the valuable information. Whenever you're looking online or looking in person for mobile home lots, the number one thing you need to know is do you own the land? If you don't own the land, usually it's a bad investment. Then you have to know, is there an HOA? Then you have to know, what are the restrictions regarding the HOA? And you have to know, is there age requirement? Because that will also limit your pool of potential buyers in the future whenever you sell it. And that's why it's cheaper to get in, but it's not as good equity selling. And then the final thing you need to remember is financing. You know, $30,000, are you going to come out of your pocket? You're not going to get a mortgage on that. Are you going to get a personal loan? Are you going to do owner financing? All of which are higher interest rates, not as favorable to the uh, borrower. So you go down this negative algorithm, financially speaking, and you lose a lot of, um, you don't have any equity and you just lose a lot of money you're just renting basically. So what are you buying? You're buying a mobile home. That's it. And you're buying the right to rent in that location. So that's uh, just another perspective. Again, these videos are to give you one perspective, to give you some information, to give you some insight. You know, they're not all of these. Most of these are not tours inside. You don't get all the information, but you get some of the information. This is very important information. When you look at property, especially cheap property, because usually it's cheap for a reason, and I just broke down the reasons why it's cheap. So that's something you have to consider on your journey so that you can make informed decisions and that you know you can live your best life. You're empowered with a level of knowledge. You know uh, to ask certain questions. You know to research certain questions. And that just makes you more informed and that makes you more empowered because then you make less of an emotional decision and more of a logical decision. You still need some emotion. You should, you should still be inspired by the area you live and that's emotion, but you should also have some logic be beyond uh, the emotion and that will give you empowerment uh, financially and, and every other way of your life. So again, hopefully these videos help you in some way. If they do and you wanna support the channel, click that blue join button. Uh, check out my playlist, which has thousands of free videos uh, like this and many other types of videos. Uh, thank you to all my members. Uh, keep pushing forward one day at a time, one step at a time. Uh, take care of your health, drink more water, go for more walks. Uh, you got to get rid of the bad relationships. Don't matter if you buy a mobile home or you buy a mansion. If you have bad relationships, you have bad mental health because bad relationships equal stress and stress destroys your mental peace and then the negative algorithm just goes from there. So you gotta take care of yourself no matter what your economics of life. Uh, thank you again for watching. Keep pushing forward and I will see you in the next video. Peace.